Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another Blu-ray DVD hunting video for you guys today. I'm about to meet up with my friend Mr. Nichols and we're going to try to hit up some garage sales if we find them out there in the wild today. Maybe some thrift stores, some pawn shops along the way. So come along with us. Let's see what we can find today. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my friend Mr. Nichols yet, he does a lot of Blu-ray DVD uh, physical media related content. Check out his link top of the description box. Let's see if we can get him to a thousand subscribers so he can get his channel monetized and stuff like that like every YouTuber would like to do. And uh, guys, I love you guys very much. Please hit that thumbs up button and uh, let's go on this adventure together and see what we come across. And it uh, looks like it's gonna, it's gonna rain out or something today with my boy Mr. Nichols. What's up? And How we, are you guys doing? And we just saw a sign that said garage sale somewhere somewhere we're gonna try to find it and uh see if we can find some goodies today well we've been driving around a little while we see some signs we see some garage sale signs on the poles over here so hopefully we have some luck and the yard sale just looks like baby strollers and clothes baby strollers and clothes are we gonna look at that one or no look. you're gonna go look? have some movies you never know hey what did we come across oh dude we got an old robocop, RoboCop man this is an old uh what's it called uh orion home video one Right in here. Okay, there's some old school stuff. Master of Disguise. That's all right. Turtle, turtle. But we got some like ob obscure ass VHS tapes in here. Well, not that one. That ain't obscure. But oh, that's your phone. <laughs> your phone's going off. These ones are kind of obscure right here. There's some generic stuff in there, like little, stupid little ones. Caillou. Stuff. Yeah. That was a bust. That a VHS tape that looked kind of interesting, and I passed. Because it was a dollar and only sells for six on eBay. So I was like, Mah. So there's three garage sales supposedly in a small little section of this little neighborhood over here. There's like signs all which ways, and we're trying to find it right now. And uh, this guy thinks it's a big garage sale. <laughs> it said it on the Facebook that there was a big garage sale. So but did, did you buy the store? Oh, wait, is it for that recliner? That we just passed? Oh, Maybe. shit, don't hit that car, son. God shit. damn, you're close. We keep seeing these signs to find garage sales, Look and we can't find shit. They're like ones that like been pasted there for like the like decades. They're dude. all stacked up, man. People yeah. don't take down their signs out here. No, that's what's irritating. We can't find anything out here because yeah. they're all old. Yeah, they're all old ass signs. So <laughs> I like that. They're like stacked. No, they don't give a shit. They put like another one to yeah, pop of another on one. Top of another. Look, here's another one right here. Yeah, there's like another blue one flapping in the wind. Uh, Want some tires? We can, well, you want to, oh, okay. You see it on the side of the road. It, it might be bald, but uh, if you want some tires, come out here. Come get them. Well, guys, we came, we came to another one, and there's some uh, DB Dizzles in here, and a dog. Yeah, that's, that dust or that dirt? Yeah, we'll see what we come across. We'll see. That garage sale had a bunch of crusty common titles. And we drove around 30 minutes or more to try to find that shit. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes shit's pointless, but uh, hey, what else are we doing with ourselves? Hey, we're coming up on another garage sale right here. This one looks good. And it seems like people are in and out, popping in and out of there, so who knows if we're getting fucked, you know, finding anything worth the shit over here, but we'll go and we'll find out right now. It is windy as shit out, guys. So let's, let's head on over here and uh, see if they got any DVDs or Blu-rays. Well, Mr. Nichols, dude, we're over here at this uh, the garage sale right here. Yes, they have a lot of clubs. I know I've seen people that that, that you know that do the that do the YouTube thing too. That always buy golf clubs, and they they know how to you know they know what they sell for and flip them for. My new vlogging camera. Oh, is that what that is? Hey yeah, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> but this lady just let us in like one of her bedrooms, and to look at a couple of movies that she had, and uh, it's a lot of common stuff. Situation. Yeah, it was kind of it was kind of kind of awkward, but hey, do you need a wheelchair, dude? No, I'm good. Oh. I'm on the oh, okay. That was an awkward experience. Yes, it was. We expended a little bit, but the, the only movies that they really had at that garage sale was in this guy's room, in this guy's bedroom that was built off the off into the garage, and uh, yeah, well, I don't know. It no was, windows. Yeah. It was just a dark room. We didn't. I didn't film it because the, the lady was, you know, right behind us. In a bed. And it was fucking weird. <laughs> so weird. But hey, didn't find shit. But I took pictures. She's like, here, just quick, take pictures before my husband gets back of what yeah. the of what the movies were. If he finds you in here, he'll be mad. So 
Yeah, garage sales were striking out today. Yeah. We're striking out today. Thrift stores. Oh. Pawn shops. Yeah. yeah. Heading on into the next stop of the day, the American way. Let's, let's go. Hey. I get the outer prints first. I get all the outer prints, bitch. Well, in this American way right now, Mr. Nichols walked off. He doesn't know the DVDs and like Blu-rays and video games are up here in the front. So uh, <laughs> I'm beating him to the punch right now. Hopefully I can find something that's all behind, all behind glass and stuff, but. Ooh, wait, do I see a wrong turn movie? No, that's something else. Yeah, but I'm gonna look through here and uh, see if I come across anything I can maybe add to my collection or uh, put on, you know, my eBay store and make a little bit of, you know, money, get my little side hustle on. But we'll see. We'll see if I come across anything. What'd you and say? looky, looky, who had to come this way? Natural born killers. Now, it, it used to be worth something. Yeah, it used to be. Not anymore. Oh, Not anymore. Blu-rays. Yeah, there are only a little stack of blue rizzles over there. Yeah, you walked off first. You went to a different section. Yeah. I, I, I knew where the movies were. Well, I was looking at those VHSs trying to find that out of print cars. It goes for $500 on VHS. That's, you didn't know that, huh? That's insane. Yep. But dude, Hopefully we find something cool today. God damn, the sun's in my face. Well, we just got to the second location, or the next location. Just at the next location right now. We're gonna head on into this thrift store. I'm gonna get in there first before you, cause you're gonna find all the stuff. Hey, you know, you know what's, you know what's out of print more than I do, bitch. So let's head on in there, see what we get. But yeah, dude, this place does have a ton of stuff in here. Blu-rays are, Blu-rays are five. Not, a, I keep forgetting how much the d regular DVDs are in here. But they have power. I don't think I've ever seen this show before, but no, I, I heard I heard decent things, decent things about this one. Hmm. Okay. Bates Motel. Oh. Big show. Well, you still, you're still looking for like seasons four and five. Season four and five on Blu-ray with the slip cover. So guys, if you're watching this, and you guys have season four and five on Blu-ray. With the slip. Yeah. You know, hit up, hit up, hit him up. He's he's looking for it. Yeah. It just seems like there's a lot of common stuff in here. You know what I mean? Like, number two, Scary Movie 2, the signs, and, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of, lot of common stuff that doesn't really, you know, go for much online, or... I don't really see any, any really anything here to, that I don't, you know, I need for my collection or anything either, you know, from what I'm noticing in here. Just a bunch of, like, you know, like common, random, randomness uh, in here today. Hopefully, hopefully we can find something out here in the wild, but you never know. There's DV dizzles everywhere and picture frames next to us and God knows what this is. I think Mr. Nichols like does something with this to his rectum. Wow, we found shit. I'm going to the next place. We're at the next destination, which I don't think I'm going to get much video in because I never really do. But if we get anything in this pawn shop, we'll let you guys know. Oh, no. I'm grabbing it before you. No, under, under the dome's a TV series, dude. It's missing a slipcase. I don't care. But Grabbing yeah, you. they do have some blue rizzles in here. They, they even have Casper. I like Casper. I like I that. I, I, I like that artwork right there. Did you get the Steelbook one? No. Oh, okay. But from the looks of it, common, common titles. Doody 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 doody. Off to the next spot of the day. Motherfucking Rick's Pawn Shop. Sometimes we find some goodness in here. Sometimes we don't. But that's the. That's the name of the game, son. That's the name of the game. Let's get on in there. Hopefully we don't get shanked, because it's a ghetto out here. Just scored some stuff over there at Rick's Pawn Shop. Nothing, nothing super crazy. Nothing, nothing super, super crazy. A couple things I can put on eBay. Uh, link in my description box to my eBay store. <laughs> down below. <laughs> down below. But uh, yeah, a couple horror titles. Uh, I'll show you guys at the end of the video. I didn't I couldn't film there because you know, it's a pawn shop Well, we just called this one thrift store. That's right over here called uh, the treasure box out here in Lancaster, California This thrift store. We've always wanted to go in but it's always like appointment only and it seems like they're open now So hopefully hopefully there's something good up in that bitch Well, we just got here and we just found out uh, all the DVDs are a dollar a piece in here and uh, they have VHS on the other side too. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I thought it was something else. That's some <laughs> score. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> but we're gonna look through here, see if we find anything cool, and uh, we'll show you. We'll show you later, cause we have to do. We have to do some digging. Now I'm looking at all the VHS tapes that they have in here, and uh, I came across something that Danny, Danny always really likes. And I think I, I think I watched at his house a couple times, and I think I saw this when I was a kid. Uh, Ninja Turtles: The Next Mutation. This shit is corny 
as hell. This shit's corny as hell. And they even have Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen VHS tapes in here. And uh, Police Academy, a whole bunch of just other random stuff. But let's see if we come across anything kind of cool. Yeah. Hey, what'd you find? I found this park map from 1984 for Disneyland. That's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. I know before, my buddy... Uh, before Star Wars Land, before all of the other stuff. Yeah, I think Adam the Woo would love something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Adam the Woo? Yeah. It would be perfect for you. But like this place has like a bunch of books, like antiques, a lot of glass, a lot of glassware uh, up in here. But it seems like wherever, whenever we're looking for physical media, dude, it's like in small cramped places. <laughs> oh. Still looking through all the VHS tapes that they have over here. Came across some Jackie Chan cut boxes, 10 Fingers of Death uh, with Jackie Chan right there. I think it's like an alternate title for something else. And this one right here is uh, Drunken Master 2. Uh, right here old school stuff man old school cut boxes I think that's pretty rad man now I'm like in the back room of uh, this thrift store right here they said I can, I can come back here and take a look and see what they got and they have like more vintage old school VHS tapes and stuff back here like um what is this tiny tune adventures now that's a blast from the past right there that box I've seen better days and stuff but there's like more and more I got a, there's like a trash bag. Got to move that over to the side. There's like a whole bunch of really cool stuff. And for you guys that don't know, that try to make money on the side, kids VHS tapes. Kids, children's VHS tapes from back in the day. A good amount of them. You can you can make some de decent profit on them if, as long as you get them for a decent, a good price. You know what I mean? Like 50 cents or less. You know, I learned this from my buddy uh, Wes Vance over at deadpit.com. And I've, I've, I've been doing pretty well, pretty well when it comes to, you know, kid VHS tapes. Hey, did you find the dress that you were looking for? No, but it was fill a bag for $5 for the women's dresses and clothes. And clothes, yeah. Only if it was like that for like the DVDs and VHS and stuff. I, I did find that one fill a bag for $10 though, that was cool. Oh, that one place? Yeah. yeah. Link but, down below. Link down below. To what? That's oh yeah, your, your YouTube channel. That video. Yeah. Well, I guess Mr. Nichols uh, got that big Disney sign. Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess yeah, Mr. Nichols got... Yeah! He, he's got that big Disney sign right there. And uh, I got a bag of shit. I don't know if you guys heard that last clip because it was windy out. I got a bag of stuff. And one of these VHS tapes that I got goes for over 80 bucks. What? I missed out on... Well, guys... Me and Mr. Nichols have went to a handful of places. <laughs> a handful of places today. And I got two big bags. And he, we're, at, we're, at the, we're at a Goodwill right now. And I have two bags full of VHS tapes, DVDs, and Blu-rays. Some of which are out of print. And uh, we're gonna, I'm going to go into this Goodwill right now. Hopefully we find some more stuff. And we'll show you guys what we're picking up. Holy shit, I've got a lot of stuff. Fluffy, I'm making you proud. Well, we just made it into the Goodwill right here. This one, at one time, I think was going for something. That has like this weird, someone's address on it. But yeah, this movie was cool, man. If you guys have never seen this one, uh, Dear God, it's about the postal service. And about these like this little group of people that work at the post, the post office. It may sound stupid, but it's cool. Like they start answering people's messages. You know what I mean? Like when kids or people write to God and they, they start like, you know, it, it's cool. It's it's amazing. If you guys have never seen it, highly, highly recommend Dear God. 13. What does that mean? It's, it's still worth something, but it's not NCAA 14. So 13 is what? Worth what? Yeah, about $20. Really? Yeah. Okay. But when it comes to this Goodwill, man, all the Blu-rays are like five bucks a piece. So there's like really, really small wiggle room on finding anything to maybe, you know, you know, try to resell online. Blue and is I, half off. That's one? Blue is half off. <laughs> blue. blue. Oh, blues are half and off? So is this one. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Three dollars a movie right here. Also, the blue, so the blue, the blue tags are... Three dollars off, or half off. Or half off. Okay. Also, all the blue tags, half off. Okay. Okay. And this one is 25% off. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I ended up getting two Blu-rays in there, but uh, me and the Mr. Nichols, let's go in the car and we'll show you guys what we picked up. Let's do it. All right, we've come down to the end of this video right here, and uh, my man bought a whole bunch of shit, 
right Johnny here. D. Yeah, we just did like an intro, an outro for his video. Yeah. If you guys want to see everything that he got, everything that he bought, watch his video. Link in the description box. Top link in the description box. I got some pretty cool stuff though, like Disney Movie Club exclusives. Yeah, man. And look at this. I got this bag full of movies. I got this bag full of full of movies. So let's go home, and I'll show you guys what I picked up. Okay, everybody, it's the next day right now after I uh, hung out with uh, Mr. Nichols, went out, you know, uh, yard sailing and thrift storing and stuff. And I'm here to show you the two hefty bags of uh, stuff I got. Well, I didn't get this stuff at Target, obviously, but I got two big old bags, a lot of stuff uh, to go through. So I'm going to try to do this rapid fire uh, right here. But if you want to see what Mr. Nichols uh, picked up, uh, check out his video, link in the description box. Uh, I picked up a handful of VHS tapes today, uh, some of which are kids kids films uh, from back you know from back when, and they use the kids kids uh, VHS tapes usually sell very well. And then I ended up picking up Prehistoria two and three uh, here on VHS. A lot of the stuff you're gonna see up on my eBay store and things, but uh, link in my bio for my eBay store. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I ended up picking these ones up at one of the th one, one of the thrift shops right there. Old school, love the artwork right there. And I've bought a handful of these from uh, different uh, pawn shops and thrift stores through, throughout the last like couple months, and they sell. They've been selling pretty well. I think I sold at least three or four of them so far. And it's a uh, Bear in the Big Blue House uh, VHS right here. And uh, yeah, I can get like maybe ten to thirteen dollars uh, each for these ones right here. So that, uh, those those ones sell pretty well for me. And I uh, got this double pack VHS tape right here called uh, Paint Your Wagon. It's a you know two tape set. Uh, right here, old school one with um, uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, Clint Eastwood in there, uh, straight up to my eBay store. And this one right here, these are some DVDs. And uh, this one right here, I, I already sold. I already sold on uh, eBay. So right now, after I film this, I'm shipping it out. And it's called Millennium uh, here on uh, DVD. This is old artisan home entertainment. Uh, you know, flick right there. I got to put this over here because I'm mailing that out as soon as I'm done recording here. Uh, thank you for whoever who bought that one right there. I ended up picking up a, a brand new copy of Ghost World on DVD. Uh, this one, of course, has a, a Criterion Blu-ray, but uh, you know these ones. These ones are still selling for uh, anywhere between uh, ten to fifteen dollars. I'm noticing uh, on eBay. And then I pick, ended up picking up uh, Cornbread Earl and Me and Cooley High double feature uh, right here. Some old school uh, '70s, I believe, yeah, '70s uh, flicks right there. And uh, Fortress. Got Fortress right here. This is brand new right here with Christopher Christopher Lambert, uh, who was also, of course, in Mortal Kombat, who played Raiden. And uh, this one was kind of hard to find at one time. And this is put out by yeah, Artisan as well. I think I got this one at one of the um, uh, pawn shops out there and everything. So that, that, that one's up on my eBay as well. And I was kind of happy to find this one. Me, me and Mr. Nichols went to this one pawn shop and found a handful of Disney movies, like brand, like brand new factory sealed uh, you know, Disney stuff. And uh, he got a handful of them. I got some, and I got this one right here called Pooh's Grand Adventure. And uh, this one sells for over twenty dollars uh, online right now. And I think I, I, I don't know. I don't want to discuss prices, but I got a good deal. I got a good deal on that uh, right there. Let me get, let me get this this bag right here and try to finish this bag first because I still have this other full bag right here. Uh, here's another VHS tape right here. I got called uh, Fear of the Black Hat. Uh, this looks like an old school, like you know, old school kind of like. Um, you know, uh, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's, it's come from Polygram Video. I don't know, it's like the, the the whole looking, it has like a cool 90s vibe to it uh, on the on the cover right there. Uh, I also got this one right here, now, Revenge of the Nerds and Revenge of the Nerds 2, Nerds in Paradise. This thing sells for around 10 to $15 still uh, online, even though there's a Blu-ray Blu of the first one. Got this one right here, Turtles, the next, uh, the next Mutation. Uh, VHS. Some, I still have to list this, list a couple of these ones on my store, but uh, yeah, this you know this reminds me of my my childhood right there. I uh, got this got this random VHS. It's, it looks kind of cool. It's called the the Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and like the, the the VHS case. I mean the VHS itself looks good, and everything. Just, just the case itself looks looks kind of rad. But the thing that made me get it one the price and two, the case is kind of messed up on the back. But look, you got a, a young Jeff Goldblum. A young Jeff Goldblum in here, and this is coming from Star Maker Video, and I don't even think I've seen or heard of this before. I, I may have to, I may have, I may watch this one before I put it up on eBay. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this one yet, but it does have some uh, 
a little bit of damage on the back right here, so I'm gonna have to disclose that in the listing. And this one right here uh, is a horror film. Uh, I thought I didn't have in my collection, but I do. So I'm putting this up on putting this up putting this up on eBay. And these ones easily sell easily sell for around forty dollars, and I got it for like three or less, two or something. And that is Juwan White Ghost and Juwan Black Ghost. Uh, right here, this is put out by uh, Wellgo USA. Uh, it's kind of like um, you know, um, like The Ring, The Grudge, you know, those kind of things, like little ghost ghost people going. Bah. It's creepy as shit. If you ever seen this movie, man, this movie, this one right here creeped me out. This one, this movie creeped me out when I had it. That you know, when I, I still have it downstairs in a box in the garage somewhere. But this this movie creeped me the fuck out. But if I can, if I can get close to you know close to forty four or in the thirties, hell yeah, dude. Can't beat that right there, man. I'm just trying to get my hustle on. Just trying to get my hustle on. Uh, gotta do something out there. And uh, one of the pawn shops, they had a handful of, like I said, brand new factory seal stuff. Ended up picking up uh, two copies of uh, Milo and Otis uh, on DVD right here. Brand new, factory sealed. I'm like, okay, okay. Just trying to get some inventory for the eBay store. Uh, Far From Home, The Adventures of a Yellow Dog. This is a, a 90s uh, classic one that I, I remember from my childhood right here. It's a different cover, but, uh, you know... It was, it's, it's the one from the early 90s, uh, or, yeah, 1994, 1994, I always liked that one right there. Still going through one of this bag, one of the bags right here. Uh, I got these two right here at the Goodwill, the last stop of the day, and that is uh, Heaven is for Real. Mr. Nichols recommended it to me, so I'm keeping that one. Got to watch that one sooner or later. And I got this one, Love and Friendship. Uh, this is a Blu-ray right here. It looks like it, I got it for $3, because it, it was like, it was marked as 6 but it was like blue tags half off. So I got this for three, but it sells for anywhere between fifteen to twenty dollars on eBay. I'm like, okay. And uh, I got these three at this at the local pawn shop that we didn't we weren't able to film in. And I got uh, in the heart of the sea uh, on Blu-ray, Blades of Glory, and the Goldfinch uh, right here, all brand new, uh, factory sealed. Uh, I got them for a good deal. I could probably get eight to ten dollars a piece for those ones right there. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And I'm trying, I'm trying to go through this because my camera looks like the battery's going to die soon. So uh, if it does, I'll, I'll cut back. I also got this at the thrift store too. Uh, Psycho 2, the original DVD release of uh, Psycho 2. And uh, Visions of Terror uh, right here. The discs look, look, look minty uh, in my opinion. I have to look, look at them again under, under their light before I post them on eBay. But this one includes... Uh, includes the original Psycho shower, shower scene in here. This is old Good Times... A uh, home video with the insert and everything like that. This one you can't, you don't just, you don't come across very often uh, out there in the wild. And of course, same thing with Vision of Terror. This one does, does not come with an insert, but these ones both will be on my eBay store because I do have, um, I do have uh, the Psycho 2 on Blu-ray from Scream Factory. I also picked up Grease 2. This is brand new, factory sealed. Of course, this is the one with uh, Michelle Pfeiffer in there. And uh, this one, this one looks like it sells between like ten to fifteen dollars. Still brand new online. Zatoichi, the blind swordsman. I can get about twenty bucks uh, for this one right here. I think I paid like two dollars, two or three dollars for this one. But this one comes with a bonus disc uh, in here. I, I bought this thinking I uh, I need it for my collection, but I, then after I scanned it and was taught looking at it, I, th I think I, I think I have a Blu-ray of Zatoichi uh, in my one of the boxes in my garage. And uh, getting down to the last uh, hand, the last handful of stuff. Uh, this one right here is at one of the pawn shops. I'm like, I want to get it because it's a Hulk Hogan movie. Uh, it's a, that's a, it's a, it's a four-pack, and I don't care about the other three movies, but I got it for a secret agent club uh, with Hulk Hogan uh, on it, playing like a double agent slash like a, like a nanny kind of thing. I got it. It looks kind of cheesy. Also got Piranha, the original Piranha uh, DVD right there, Roger Corman classic. Uh, Dempsey, I got this one at one of the pawn shops. Uh, I, can, I got it for like 2 or $3. I can probably sell it for like 10 to 15 And Benji is one of those other Disney ones I got from that other pawn shop where I told you I had a lot of Disney movies at. I can probably get a good $15 out of that one right there. But yeah, guys, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today. Thanks for coming on over. Please check out my social media links down below. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, along with my eBay store, if you guys want to support the channel uh, in any way by getting some physical media. But guys, I love you very much. Thank you for coming by, and I'll catch you on the next one.